Hello, this is the guy from Pittsburgh, George Senda, and I'm going to talk to the Jeremy the, the No Joy. Here we go. Okay, that's enough of that. The Jeremy no joy. I understand. I am the cat father. I understand that r rumors have reached me that you are wearing a bib with green and yellow and a big G in the middle and underneath it says, I love the cheese. What do you say to these rumors? <laughs> Good evening, George. Uh, I can assure you I'm not wearing any Green Bay Packers apparel. Aha, uh -huh. I say, okay, then I have another issue. I am wounded. My heart is heavy. I have a complaint from my f members of my family against you. The cat father has heard this complaint, and it is sweeping the country. Soon they will be picketing your house. Cat lives matter. Fuzzy is very offended. Not once have you asked when... And how are the cats? You never mention the cats. You never say how are they doing? Are they happy? Are they full? Not they feel they are being ignored by you and, and Fuzzy. I am a forgiving man, but Fuzzy is very offended and very upset. So what are you gonna do about this situation? I'm gonna fix this situation right now. George, how are your cats? My cats are fine. Now shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. That's it for you. Eh? Goodbye. This is it. NFL picks. Uh, now get rid of him. Okay. Now back to my normal voice. <laughs> the cat father. Watch out. And by the way, to you and everybody else, although we know you don't have clocks in, in Minnesota, you got wooden sundials. Uh, you cart around on your wrist. Big, giant wooden sundials. Uh, remember, 2 o'clock tomorrow morning, daylight saving time ends. Uh, I don't know if it's back or forwards. I, I haven't looked that up yet. I just go to sleep, so I don't pay attention to it. I set the clocks in the morning when I stagger out of bed and get my coffee. Um, We're gonna, we are going to fall backward. Remember that. Yeah, I got enough of that just trying to walk to the bathroom. So I, don't, I got enough trying to keep them falling backwards or forwards for that matter. <laughs> all right, here we go. Uh, first of all, a shocker of shocker. We both lost with the Jets beating the Bills. I I'm I was I was uh, boggled when I woke up and turned on the news and the Jets beat the Bills. I went what? So uh, I don't know what happened there. I haven't watched the highlights or the lowlights. I don't know. Okay, but uh, no Steelers this week. No no Vikings as they go to the. Um, Eel Pout Knitting Festival. So let's pick the games here. Okay, we got, and I, I don't know where they're at. Uh, so I'll just tell you who's playing and get your opinion. Buccaneers and the Saints. All right, so the Saints are the home team here. The Saints are 5 and 2. Oh, by the way, this is NFL week 9. Yeah, yeah I, I know that. I, I figured that out. <laughs> Excellent. Five and two Saints at the Bucks coming in. Bucks are really struggling. Jameis Winston might be hurt more than uh, has been led on. And the Saints are on fire. They've won five in a row. You got to go with the Saints at home here. Drew Brees, Michael Thomas, that run game. Saints will win this one. Okay, I'll pick the Saints too. Okay, then we have the other side of the equation here. The Atlanta Falcons and the Carolina Panthers uh, with that, um, what's his face, you know. Cam Newton, yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, so Carolina's a home team here. And this one's a real tough one to call. The Panthers have a better defense than has been led on. And, of course, the Falcons have that explosive offense. However, Julio Jones has one touchdown. And then Sanu and Hooper have two touchdowns. So, really, they've been scoring on, on the ground. And I don't really think that they can hold up against the Panthers' run defense. I'm going to pick the Panthers at home here. 
I'll take the Panthers as well. All right, here we have, and they all, both teams have been screwing me all season. When I pick one, they lose or they win, and the other one, too, the Rams and the Giants. The Rams and the Giants, yes. Uh, the Giants are the home team here. Uh, the Rams have been on fire, fresh off the bye week. Now that's either good or bad, but I think it's good for the Rams because they like to run the, the grounded pound. Uh, Sean McVay, he's a 33-year-old head coach and an offensive genius. He's revived Todd Gurley, and I think Todd Gurley runs through the Giants. I'm taking the Rams to win this one. I'll take the Rams as well. Excuse me a moment. <clears throat> <clears throat> Damn sinuses are causing problems with my voice. There's something wrong with his throat again. Okay. <laughs> um, Ravens and Titans. Uh, Tops up here. Tops up. Two kind of smash mouth defenses. Two kind of smash mouth offenses. I think Joe Flacco was back from his concussion. But I still think he's uh, probably seen some stars, or at least will be. I got to pick the Tennessee Titans, who are the home team, to win this game. I'll go with the Titans as well. All right, you got the Bungles and the Jaguars. Uh, another tough matchup here. Uh, the Bengals, they're really hard to predict. Either they don't show up or they really do show up and then light these up with their explosive offense. However, the Jacksonville Jaguars, the top five defense in the league. Leonard Fournette back and playing. He's got almost 600 yards already as a rookie. And Blake Bortles, as long as he doesn't, you know, throw a bunch of interceptions, I think the Jaguars' defense can match up well with, you know, A.J. Green, Joe Mixon, and the like. i got to pick the Jaguars to win this. Okay, I'll go with the Jaguars, too. Now we have the, um, how to put it, the missing Denver Broncos and the Philadelphia Eagles. Uh, yes, sir. So Philadelphia's got the home game. They're seven and one. That's right. They've only lost one game. Carson Wentz still maintaining that MVP level, and he's going against probably the best defense he's faced all season in the Denver Broncos. Here, they still got the good defense. Now Brock Osweiler is starting for the Broncos on the road. He hasn't really proven he's a winner at all. So I'm going to have to ride the Eagles here because I don't really see any way that they lose unless. Uh, Denver defense has shut them down, which is a possibility. But well, still that home. I got to pick the Eagles, too, because I think the Broncos, the horse has left the barn, and he's out somewhere munching <laughs> on grass. So, Oh, uh, yeah, that, very good, very good. Um, okay, the Colts and the Texans. Colts and Texans. So the Texans are the home team here. They've had a terrible loss. Uh, their rookie star quarterback who had 19 touchdowns, he didn't even start week one uh, towards ACL in practice. So he's down. I believe Tom Savage, uh, career backup, is going to be the starting quarterback for the Texans. Now, the offense won't be explosive with him behind the helm. However, luckily for them, they're going against the Coles, who have a ton of hurt uh, players in their secondary, and their offense just, quite frankly, isn't that good. I gotta take that Houston Texans at home to beat the Colts. I'll take the Texans as well. Next, the Redskins and the Seahawks. Ugh. Yeah, this one's, a, this one's a tough one to choose. I mean, the Seahawks, who are the home team, are really rolling. And got in a shootout last week with Houston, gave up 38 points or something like that, but scored 41. I think uh, Russell Wilson has found his stride. And Washington coming into Seattle Town. That's not a safe place to play. i got to go with the Seahawks to win this one. Washington's too, too banged up. I'll go with the Seahawks as well. All right, now you have mediocrity bowl here, the Cardinals and the 49ers. Yeah, which team's more depleted? Uh, San Francisco 49ers are the home team here, and they are 0-8. Uh, they just trade for... 0-9, uh, 0-9! Oh, go, go, go! <laughs> It could Sorry. very well go 0 and 9. However, I think this is the week that they figure it out. I don't think Garoppolo is getting the start, but I don't think Arizona's all that good. Uh, backup quarterback, pretty much Adrian Peterson and Fitzgerald are their only options. Defense is all right, but I think this is the week. I'm thinking the 49ers. I don't. The Niners. I don't think the 49ers can find their way over a road map. I'm going to pick the Cardinals. <laughs> all right, the Chiefs and the Cowgirls. Probably the best matchup of the week, if you don't count the Monday night matchup. Kansas City Chiefs uh, going to Dallas to play the 4-3 Cowboys. 
Now the Chiefs, Chiefs have uh, kind of played a little bit. They've lost a few games. However, they're still a very explosive team. I mean, Travis Kelsey, a tight end, has 44 receptions, uh, over 550 yards. They got Tyreek Hill, the outside threat. Kareem Hunt, uh, legitimate rookie of the year candidate now that Watson's done. However, the Cowboys are at home. They still have Ezekiel Elliott. He hasn't been suspended, I guess. And Prescott's going to take care of the ball like he always does. Uh, i got to go with the Cowboys at home. Elliott's going to go bonkers again. Well, I'm going to take the Chiefs. I still got faith in Kansas City. And finally, your favorite team in the world. I understand, by the way, a, a convoy of cheese is being sent to your door by Kraft. Um, we have the Lions and the Packers. Uh, yes, Lions and Packers, the Monday night game, the long-awaited and vaunted rivalry, the NFC uh, NF North division game, Packers home team. Uh, this is kind of a toss-up. I mean, Matthew Stafford is a pretty good quarterback. He gets things done. He can come back late in games. However, um, he didn't really get it done versus the Steelers. So I'm going to call the upset here. I'm going with the Detroit Lions to defeat the Green Bay Packers in Lambeau, which hasn't been done in a while, I, I don't think. Well, the Lions have been disappointing to me this year. Um, I'm not sure what to do here. I'll, I'll go with the Lions, but I... At home, I don't know. You know, it's just, who knows? Uh, it, it's a tough one to call, George. And then we did miss one. We got uh, the Sunday night game, which is the Oakland Raiders at the Miami Dolphins. Oh, we missed oh. one. How did we do that? Yeah. No, it's my fault. Yeah, so that's the only one that we missed. My it's fault. All good. So, for this all right. Game, with Oakland. Well, Oakland's going to win that one for sure. They've got a better offense. Wait a minute! How, wait a minute! I'm a little confused. How can we miss what I'm reading right off the uh, NFL scores and schedules here? Where the hell is Oakland? I don't even see them on here. Uh, we definitely missed that one. Hold on. Oh. Let me. Let me. Let me go. <clears throat> Hold on. Let me go to another. <clears throat> let me get my voice back. I think the. Uh, I think the Raiders stole my voice here. Hold on. Uh, you know, it's kind of an insignificant. No, no, no. It's, it's going to bug me. i got to be complete here. Where the hell are they? Hold on. You know, I'm looking week nine. I don't see Oakland. You sure you're, uh, you are you did not uh, do too much Tron there? I, I, uh, <laughs> oh, I'm, uh, I'm looking right at the match. Hold on. I got Bears, Browns, Chargers, Vikings, Patriots, Steelers, bye week. I'm reading right off the screen. You got Colts, Bengals, Buccaneers, Rams, Falcons, Broncos, Ravens, Cardinals, Redskins, Chiefs. Oh, there they are. The other site left uh, them off. That's stupid. What are we having for them, Johnny? All right, Raiders and Dolphins. I, I, I didn't hear you. So can you repeat quickly? Only got about a minute and a half, minute and three quarters left. Who are you picking? Yeah, so I'm picking the Raiders. Miami Dolphins have a putrid offense, and they just traded away Jay Ajayi, their top running back. Um, Raiders got Derek Carr, Amari Cooper, but a really porous defense. But still, Raiders are going to get this done. Might be a shootout, or the Dolphins just might stay in bed like they did last week. Yeah, it's so. really weird. The other, This is the NFL.com schedules. It's got all the games. The other one left the Raiders games out. I don't get that. I'm going to go with the Raiders out. Well, <clears throat> well, hopefully my voice will be back next time. <laughs> All right, Jeremy, um, stay on the phone, and uh, I'm sorry, what? I said, let's hope so. Keep drinking that hot tea. Yeah, stay on the phone, and uh, we'll do this next time. All right, bye-bye, people, for now. This is George Senator, the guy from Pittsburgh, and don't forget to um, set your clocks back or throw your clocks out. I don't know which. Bye-bye for now. Cool.